Hi Howard, this is uh, Tom McCubrey here at Prime Mercedes-Benz in Scarborough, Maine. I just want to uh, make a short video for you on this uh, Sprinter I have beside me. This is a 2020 Sprinter 2500. It is in the 170 wheelbase. It is a four-wheel drive and it is in graphite gray. So it has a lot of the options that we were looking for uh, in a van for you and actually has a couple extras so I just wanted to go over those and uh, see what you what you think about it so right up front um, it does have the fog light package with cornering uh, ability which is really nice also you'll see there are these sensors all the way around the bumpers and then you'll see little cameras as well tucked in those cameras um, and sensors are part of the parking package in this so this does have 360 camera capability um, then as we walk around the vehicle you'll see um, we have the side sliding door giving you access to that high roof rear cargo area this does have the wood floor with d-rings in it which is a really nice platform to build out your van whether it be for a camper or commercial use and let's close that like that as we walk around the back you will see we have the rear doors as well this one does come equipped with a trailer hitch as well as a uh, step you do have all wiring for a trailer as well like if you were to tell trailer brake all your lights and everything plug right into there then I will pop this open. So we have the 270 doors on here. So they swing completely out of the way. Both of them do that. Swing this around. Giving us unimpeded entry into the rear of the vehicle. Uh, in here you'll see we do have uh, lights back here, but outside of that it is, um, you know, pretty bare for your uh, build out. So that kind of touches on everything on the outside. Let's jump on the inside and touch on some of those features there. All right, now that we're inside the van, I'm gonna to touch on some of the features in here. So to start, right over here on the uh, left side, we have our power mirrors, uh, driver and passenger controls right there. Right in front of that, we have our electric uh, mirror control. So just left and right and your arrows, it's pretty standard stuff. You do have power folding mirrors in this van as well. So the center button, uh, where the mirrors are actually control the folding uh, operation then uh, as we come around our power uh, parking brake light controls are all right in front of the driver's side's left knee um, or the driver's left knee then our wipers our wiper control automatic wipers uh, high beams as well as uh, blinker all controlled right from the left stock and the right stock is our gear lever in the new Mercedes Sprinter. Now, as you can see, if you say the um, Hey Mercedes, what it will do is it brings up voice control in the MBUX system. Um, you actually have uh, two other ways to control the MBUX system in this vehicle. Uh, one is it is a touchscreen, as you saw me just use it, as well as you do have touch pads up here on the steering wheel. Um, on the steering wheel on the left side we actually have a touchpad and a home key uh, to use to control the center um, color display between your tachometer and speedometer um, you can change what you see in there whether it be your navigation or your radio uh, Bluetooth media that you're using you can all switch uh, that those controls to the center here um, then the rest of these buttons on the left side of the steering wheel is actually part of the Destronic package this car, this uh, van has. Uh, Destronic is an adaptive cruise control system that this car is equipped with. Uh, it essentially you can set a speed and a distance to follow the car in front of you on the highway and if there happens to be a car going slower than your set speed, it will hold a distance behind that car until you can either get around them and it will speed itself back up or um, until they uh, get out of your way and it will do all the work for you in uh, speeding up and slowing down in um, highway traffic. 
And so that's what all of the buttons on the left side of the uh, steering wheel do outside of the touchpad and home key. On the right side of the steering wheel, we have another touchpad, home key. Um, selection over here, that controls your infotainment system. Like I said, we can just control um, everything from right here um, and allows you to not take your hands off the steering wheel while trying to get into your nav, for example. Um, and then right below that we have our uh, phone controls, volume control, and voice command controls uh, on the steering wheel as well. You do have paddle shifters, which do come in handy if you are in um, uh, like mountainous areas. If you're going downhill and you want to uh, engine brake or downshift, uh, you can do that manually right here on the steering wheel. Um, instead of just using your, uh, or in addition to using your brakes, I should say. On the right side, we have our four-wheel drive button. So when we're in neutral, we can hit that button. It'll start to flash. Once it goes into four-wheel drive, it'll be a steady red light. To come back out, again, be in neutral, hit that button, it'll flash, and then it will turn off. Once that's off, you're back in two-wheel drive. Uh, once in four-wheel drive, if you do want a low-range four-wheel drive, that's what this button right here is for. You hit that again it will actually prompt you up here telling you you're in four-wheel low so that's how both of the uh, high and low four-wheel drive options work we have keyless entry or keyless go in here so um, you have a fob that you don't really ever need to take out of your pocket um, you just hit that button fires right up then as we come over here to the center we have uh, our infotainment system, the MBUX system. So this is a very, very similar system to the one we're using in the cars. Um, so it is all brand new Mercedes-Benz technology. We have navigation, radio, Bluetooth media. Um, one really cool feature this vehicle has, uh, it comes equipped with up here in front of it, of the big screen, is we actually have uh, three USB Type-C ports. And on this first one here, you'll see this little diagram if you plug your iPhone or Android uh, phone that is capable of doing Android or uh, Apple CarPlay, um, plug that into here and then on your actual infotainment system, the, uh, that it'll actually mirror your phone's uh, system right to here. So you'll get all your apps, your navigation, Spotify, Pandora, any, any app that's compatible with uh, Apple CarPlay or Android Auto will pop up here. In addition to those two uh, these other two charging ports, you actually have this little pad right here. This is a wireless charging pad as well. So you can actually put, if you're using CarPlay, it'll charge. If you're not using CarPlay, just using Bluetooth, um, you can throw your phone in here. And as long as your phone is capable of wireless charging, it'll actually charge right there. So um, as we come back down here to show you the 360 camera, um, if we press this button, you'll see we have a top down 360 view. And then this is a front view of, uh, of the vehicle, and we can kind of actually scroll through the other views that we have um, in this camera package. So um, we have uh, both sides of the van as well as the 360, a wide angle rear, rear, and then a um, if you had a trailer uh, ball attached to back up to it, this little round circle here kind of allows you to back up a little bit more accurately to your trailer uh, to hook up. So those are super, super helpful to have in there. Um, and this, this button right here just gives you access to it. Uh, these other three buttons are just shortcuts to, uh, for example, your navigation, your telephone, your radio. Over here we have the home and back key, which you have right here on your steering wheel as well. So if you do just want to use this side or your passenger is trying to do something, they can use that right there. Um, to mute and or turn off this screen, that's what we use that button for. This one is a shortcut to your actual settings for the van, so you have um, lane tracking, parking, uh, parking sensors in here, so that's how you shut those off, and if you want to go deeper into those, they're right in there. And this is just uh, to change track on uh, music or whatnot, whatever you're listening to. And then down here is actually our climate controls. So uh, pretty simple, uh, just up or down for your temperature, same with your fan speed, just a toggle. And then we have AC, the uh, actual vent direction, whether it be the main vents, defroster, feet, 
we have our hazards right here and then your max defrost and recirculation then as we come up we'll pan up here and we'll see we have a sunglasses holder we actually have an sos button for in case of emergency um, this little red button here if we press that it'll make a phone call to the emergency services there um, we have a service button over here so if we need to schedule service or need something like that we can hit that button um, once the mercedes pro uh, connect is actually hooked up um, then we have our reading lights that come on kind of hard to see but um, they come on right here in these corners um, if we shut those back off, uh, this one will, this button right here will turn off your lights even if your doors are open. And then these are just your big light and then the lights out back. Um, but yeah, there's a ton of storage in here. It's a really great platform for, like I said earlier, either commercial usage or um, campers build outs right now are really hot on these things. So. Um, if you'd like more information, please feel free to give me a call. Um, again, my name is Tom McCoubrey, and my phone number is 207-653-9942. And if you like the video, please like and subscribe.